My name is Anna Fatio, and I had the amazing opportunity to partner with Exceptional Heroes for my senior capstone project. Exceptional Heroes is a nonprofit group created in 2015 that is full of friends, family members, caregivers, and volunteers, all united by the passion of supporting young adults with cognitive and intellectual disabilities. The founders of this organization are Jennifer Silverton with her son Aiden and Teresa White with her son Tyler. When interviewing Jennifer, she explained exactly why Exceptional Heroes came to be. She said she was inspired to co-create Exceptional Heroes with her partner Teresa White by her 25-year-old son Aiden, who lives with Fragile X Syndrome. Teresa and Jennifer quickly realized that there were few to no social opportunities for the special needs population after they completed their education, so they created opportunity. While the community does try to focus on the young adult population, which is 17 years and older, the group knows anyone can benefit from their amazing support system. So the heroes are welcoming and accepting to anyone who joins, regardless of their cognitive abilities. Exceptional Heroes is based out of Grand Blank, Michigan, and supports all of Genesee County at the moment, but they plan to continue to grow. Connecting to the Catholic social teaching, Solidarity perfectly represents Exceptional Heroes and their mission. Solidarity is the idea that we are one human family, whatever our national, racial, ethnic, economic, and ideological differences. Loving our neighbor has global dimensions in a shrinking world. I personally saw this the first time I arrived at event. None of the heroes had ever seen me before, and without hesitation, they welcomed me to the extent of where I felt as though I have been there for years. Exceptional Heroes connects to the Catholic social teaching in many other ways. For example, they have become an advocate with and for those with disabilities. They give respect to those living with disability, and they give opportunity for those living with disabilities to contribute to our society by activity and community. There are multiple times scripture reflects the theme of solidarity, but these two verses stuck out the most. First is 1 Corinthians 1.10 that says, I appeal to you brothers by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. The second verse that aligns is Colossians 3.14, which states, and above all these, put on love, which binds together in perfect harmony. Both of these verses help align solidarity with exceptional heroes. The key elements that jump out are the ideas of no divisions or judgment, that we are all one, and we should be all love, creating that perfect harmony. I believe that St. Joseph of Cupertino would make an amazing patron saint for exceptional heroes. To begin, he is the patron saint of disability, and his work revolved around healings of disabled. For example, healing the blind or some who were unable to walk. He also connects to the reason why Exceptional Heroes was created, because he had a very, very difficult time trying to find a religious group to join, and went through about three groups. Exceptional Heroes was created because it is difficult to find social groups and activities for those with disabilities after school years. And lastly, even through all his hardship, persecution, and suspicion, he maintained his faith and devotion, which is exactly how the heroes show their loyalty to their community and friends. For my personal experience, it is unlike anything I've ever experienced, in such a great way. Of course, walking into the first day of Capstone, I was nervous. I was wondering what exactly to expect. I was unsure. I was pleasantly surprised when I found out what I was walking into was just a big group of people that were a family, who just liked to have fun. And we did exactly that. From yoga to baseball games, Exceptional Heroes does every activity you can think of. They check off every box when it comes to events and ideas. And I have never met people so welcoming and open-minded like the community of Exceptional Heroes. I will never forget this experience I have had with Exceptional Heroes. As for my proposal, I was unsure at first as to what exactly I wanted to do for this community. I knew I wanted to do something unique, caring, useful, a necessity of theirs, and something I could truly care about and spend time on. So after sitting down with Jennifer for a little while, we came to the conclusion that I would try my best to make an informational slash advertisement video to spread knowledge of exceptional heroes and reach more areas. So here's what I came up with. When the sharpest words wanna cut me down I'm gonna
on this video, collecting clips and photos with my other volunteers, and figuring out which song Jennifer and the group thought represented Exceptional Heroes the most, I am very happy with how it turned out. I also decided, while editing the video, to add some design to their original logo, which I received great feedback from. In reality, I am not completely sure how to spread this video other than social media, but I hope to continue to work with Exceptional Heroes in the future to help figure out how to spread it. Before knowing about Exceptional Heroes, the idea that after school years there really isn't any community for those with special needs to just have fun never really crossed my mind. I am happy to say that has completely changed. This community is unlike any other. No matter who you are, this group will not only make you feel welcome, but will make you feel as though you have been there for years. I personally think the best way to describe this feeling is true happiness. I experienced God's presence every time I was with the heroes. The way that all stress, worry, and anxiety just disappeared and I just felt at peace while I was with them completely changed my faith and encouraged me to continue their way of living. This experience made me realize that I wasn't doing as good as I thought with loving everyone no matter what. It opened my eyes with how to be better and I have truly tried to implement that into my life. I also realized I really enjoy to listen to others and assisting them however I can. Like I said, I hope to continue to work on this video for Exceptional Heroes in the future, and I am very thankful for the inspiration and experience Exceptional Heroes has given me. I am definitely inspired to continue serving God's people in other ways in the future. Thank you.